Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the upcoming Microsoft One Outlook email client and that's going to be built into Windows 11. So right now it's kind of in the beta testing mode. So if you have a business or school Outlook account you could demo it and see how it works assuming you know you got the right uh, version of Windows to install it and other good stuff. I don't know if you'll need a insider version of Windows or not. I would say probably not. So once you download it you can you just install the executable and run it. So uh, we're just going to give you a quick overview of how it looks and then compare it to the Windows 10 Mail right now. So if you have the Windows Mail or Windows 10 Mail as it's called even in Windows 11 it still looks the same. You know you have your email account and you have your calendar, your people contacts and you have your to-do list. And, you know go through the settings and all that other good stuff pretty basic. It, it does the job and it's been working for years. So on the Microsoft One Outlook, if you notice, if you're a MicrosoftOutlook.com email user, you'll notice it looks very similar to the uh, web interface where you have your mail, you know, your calendar, you have different calendars, your contacts, and to do, which will open up in a web browser and then right into your to do account. And then up on the top here, you have your home tab and your view tab. So home tab has you know the new mail and new events. You got your trash, archive, uh, junk mail, sweep for rules, moving email, reply, reply all, forward, mark red on red, categorize, flags, pinning items, snoozing items, assigning policies to the item, and then here you have some uh, rules. You know you can make some rules just like in Outlook. And add some groups and so on. And then from the view tab, we have the view settings. So if you want to change your view settings, it'll take you into that section in the Outlook settings, which looks the same as if you were to go here and go to view all settings. And you'll notice this looks the same as the Outlook website as well. And you have your messages, how you want to group them and preview them for your layout, for the folder pane and the reading pane. Density, if you want to have it compact to fit more on a page. Immersive Reader, if you want to have it read to you. Your print options, then you could customize this. You know, you could add new groups and kind of change what goes in each group on the outside here and then reset them. So that's kind of cool. And then for the ribbon, this is the basic ribbon. So if you click here, you could have the uh, classic ribbon, which makes it look more like Outlook and Word and other Office products. And this gives you some bigger icons, kind of makes it a little easier to use if you got the space. Then up on the top here, you have some other icon, icons for, you know, for OneNote feeds, for planning your day, for notifications, the settings, help, support, what's new, and all that other good stuff. So, like I said, this is in testing, so I'm assuming it's going to be finalized and replace Windows Mail, but I guess you never know. Supposedly people are not too thrilled with it, but I mean, if you're going to do this, you might as well just use the... Uh, Outlook website because it looks exactly the same, but so it's up to you. So we just thought we'd just give you a quick overview and then I'll put a link in the description of where you could download the executable. So if you have the right kind of email account, you could try it out for yourself and play around with it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.